Good morning guys, welcome to Lost Finks Gaming, the home of tips, tricks, guides and tunes for Forza Horizon 4. I'm having a look at it, I'll make a van out of you championship for the modern race suit in grey. We've got the Ashbrook Loop Scramble, Mud Kickers 4x4 Scramble and the Highland Farm Scramble for this one. Alright, interesting, dirt racing in winter, some bit of, a bit of rally fun. Got some spiel from Kira here. And it's time to pick a, a car. And naturally, the Morris Mini Traveller. 1965. This is brilliant. I've got my D Class tune ready for this. Woody Whip It. I've used this a few times and this is really fun. This is a really, really fun car to drive with this tune. So definitely grab it and just let's go and have some fun with Rally in the winter time, yeah? And what you'll need for this is to have your difficulty set to highly skilled or above. Otherwise you won't get the completion and you won't get the reward. And I've got it on highly skilled. So that's not too much of a problem here. So I'm going to make a start on this event. So we're pulling up now to the start line. All vans, all utilities, go, go, go. Passing some Ford Transit, got a hold in there. And foot to the floor brilliant this takes this without too many problems and about 11 seconds in i mean first place this is brilliant if you haven't got this car it's not available on the auto show but you can pick it up for about 200,000 roughly on the auction house and they are actually pretty common you get them out of wheel spins quite a lot and they are actually really good. You put this tune on it and it just goes. It just really goes. Every time I've used this, it just leaves for competition in the dust. It is just brilliant. And yeah, rallying in a little 60s van. Why not? And three laps on this one and we're coming around pretty, pretty well, really. Giving it a fair bit of speed. And good thing about this is you can drift it quite nicely around corners as well. And yeah, it's, it's actually pretty decent. So coming around here, making sure I slow down a little bit, try and give it a drift. Going around, not hitting the wall, which for me is definitely a first. But yeah, let's let's go. Let's 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 absolutely hammer this and get this done. Because I like the rally stuff. Winter's pretty decent for rallying as well. And you can just have a good bit of fun with it. And coming round, first laps almost out of the way. And we're on to our second out of three. And for the winter season, this time is actually not too bad. You've had a few little issues with the Mud Kickers show jump. That takes a little bit of practice. And probably a few rewinds when going through the pipes but I put a video together of the PR stunts as well and I've also got a video going into more detail of how to complete this which I've had up for a little while but yeah other than that the season's not bad some pretty decent rewards and some pretty decent races so that's actually pretty good fun and come around, managed not to hit the wall again, which is pretty decent. So go, go, go. And yeah. yeah. I've been recording a fair bit of Forza stuff recently. I've got quite a bit queued up and everything. If there's anything you guys want to see me have a look at, if there's any, any sort of issues, any questions you have about the game, give me a shout, let me know. And if... I can help you out with them, I will help you out. I might put a video together if need be and we can basically just look at this stuff. And it is a good thing that we've got sort of with the community because last week we had this thing with the Moorhead speed camera and that was a pain in the backside. I was getting a lot of suggestions off you guys for cars and everything. And I did end up going with one of the suggestions as well and put back into my main video. And that was brilliant. So yeah, I have questions about stuff. You know, I sort of throw it out. You guys answer it. You give me suggestions. But if you've got any 
sort of questions, anything you're not sure about, give me a shout and I'll have a look, you know. And we can start putting a few of those sort of videos together, I guess. And one thing I would say is I've actually got, with all my videos coming out, particularly my first look ones, I always sort of get one dislike on it and quite a few likes. And whilst I'm not sort of giving anyone grief for disliking my videos, if you don't like them, you don't like them, fair enough. You know, you can't please everybody all of the time. But it does seem every single week I just get one dislike, particularly on my first look videos. And if you're watching this and you've got this far in and you are the one that's disliking stuff, you know, I'm not, I don't mind, I don't care. But I actually would be interested to know what exactly you actually dislike about my videos because it's one of those where. I sort of do like feedback, you know, I'm not one of these people who just go, oh, I'll post stuff out and get a bit naggy. If people criticise me or say, I don't like that you're doing this this way, or I think it'll be better that way. So, yeah, hit that dislike button, I don't mind. I'd rather you didn't, but if you do genuinely have an issue, leave me a comment, tell me, you know, and yeah. So that one's coming up here. Through the line, first place, jobs are good and absolutely left the opponents in the dust. Brilliant. This is a really good tune. So that's the first race out of the way on that one. They are taking a little bit longer because we're working at D class. We're not exactly in S2 class hypercars, are we? But I'm going to move on from this and skip through all this stuff. And we can get back into the game and have a look on the map at where we're going next. So we're back into the game. Pull the map up. Let's have a look. We have a white one to are after. We've got the two there. Mud Kickers and Highland Scramble. I think I'll go for the Highland Scramble first. Not that it matters too much which one you do out of the two first. I'll just go for it because, well, I don't know. I just will. So continue Championship. Continue event, pick the, the Morris Mini Traveller again, get through this screen here of all the dancing and all the bits of rubbish, and we can get into it and we can make a start. So, Highland Farm Scramble, keeping it on, highly skilled again, and go, 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 go. Past you, Muzzled Penguin, Critosan, Peach, you. Hopperness, or whatever you're called in your Ford Transit. Clip the flag, because clipping them does tend to count. But uh, there you go. I'm literally 10 seconds in first place again. It's how good this tune actually is. It's how fun this is. You're literally 10 seconds first place. It was about 11 seconds on the last one. Coming around here, not doing too bad. A little bit of drifting. And... Just a case of getting your foot down, keeping going with it, because you're not talking at silly speeds on this being D-class, but you can still build up a fair momentum. And coming around, even with the traction on, which, yeah, I sort of forgot about that one, but even with the traction on, it's taking my corners pretty well. Through the fence, not the flag down. And keep going. It's three laps on here, and... This video will be a little bit longer than some of ones because they are laps and they do take a little bit longer because of that. But the first lap is almost out of the way. Make the little jump, get some air in the mini and go. Second lap, slow it down, spin it around here, take posts out. Yeah, it's not it's not too bad. It's not too bad whatsoever on this. I was actually looking forward to this and since I saw this on me preview live stream and they showed the events up and I went in and had a deeper look at what the requirements were I saw and I thought right I'm going to use this this van this is definitely what I'm going to use this is going to be fun it's literally no brainer normally when I have a look at this stuff I get the details but I don't really start putting tunes together until a couple of weeks beforehand and I had a look at this and the second I saw it I thought yep yeah, I know what I'm going to use and that'll do 
absolutely brilliantly. And I'm getting some stuff together now as well for spring, for next week. I'm get, I've got all my tunes together and I'm starting to look at some of the stuff for championships with videos and whatnot. But I've got that together because I am expecting this week for the Series 30 to drop. The last two months they've been dropping pretty early and they have sort of caught me by surprise a little bit. So I want to be sort of prepared with this stuff. So I'm just getting as much stuff as I can sort of done ahead for videos. And when I do this stuff, I go in, have a look. I do some of the championships if I want to unlock something and have a closer look at something. But I don't keep my save files. I, I delete them. I actually delete them because I keep a backup. And once I finish doing what I'm doing, I actually delete it because... The last thing I want to be doing is getting banned. But, um, as for now, I'm having a look at the winter and I haven't had a look at spring, but I will be looking at that in the next few days. And yeah, it's pretty decent. Coming around here, up to the finish line, take the hedge out, take some posts out and through the line. First place, jobs are good and excellent. 20 points, that gives me 40 points in total for the championship. We have one more event to do over at the Mud Kickers. So we're here now, pull up the map, and it's just the Mud Kickers. Yeah, why not? We're here at the Mud Kickers, continue championship, pick the Mini Traveller once again. And go. There are two mini travelers in this game. There's the mini travel I've got here. Then there's one which is part of a car pass. So it's a DLC car. This is not the DLC one. This is the normal one that anybody can get. So if you are looking for this on auction, keep that in mind. That this is not a DLC car. This is a normal car which you can just pick up off auction without too many problems. Okay. About 10 seconds again into first place, sliding a fair bit on that one because you don't want the mud kickers. There's a lot of ice here, and this hasn't actually got winter tyres on it, this is just normal stock tyres, so it's actually handling really well on the ice and on the snow and everything. But I just need to moderate the speed a little bit over these jumps because when you jump and you land, you can lose control of it, and there's not a lot of weight in these little vans. So you do have to be very careful not to completely and utterly mess it up. But I'm not, to be fair. I know I'll do well in this championship. I know I'll do well with this vehicle, because I've used it a few times, and it absolutely bloody rocks. It's brilliant. And you're just making a run for it around here. Got a pretty decent gap, once again, between myself and the second place people. And already one lap out of the way. This is easy. It's looking like I'm getting a clean sweep on here. 20 points on every single event. 60 points in total. Easy championship win. And you can see the gap on the minimap down there. It's absolutely massive. And you wouldn't normally expect to see gaps this sort of size on me. Highly skilled. They're normally pretty good at keeping up with you and pushing you. But um, just going round like this, I am creating quite a bit of a gap. So, yeah, this is this is quite nice. Quite like this championship. It's great fun. And second lap almost done. You can see the finish line when you go in the corner and the mini map rotates around. That's a good drift. I like that. A drift in the snow. Yeah, snow drift. Come round here. I'll accelerate and yeah, my swivs gap's getting bigger. It'd be interesting to see exactly how much time I've actually got on these guys. A little bit of skid in there, but keeping it in control. And this is the third and the final lap for this one. And this is the final event of the championship. And then that's this one out of the way for this week. Yep, it's definitely getting larger that gap 
it's mad. They've only just crossed the the um, the line, so they are probably about twenty seconds behind me, roughly. Looking at this, yeah, it'd be interesting to have a look at the end and see what the time was. Although I did mess it up when I got bogged down in the puddle, and that has slowed me down a little bit, but nothing which is going to change the outcome of this race. Yep, lost it again, me. And you can tell this is not snow tyres. This is skidding a lot. It's drifting a lot. But when you get rally events, like this dirt racing events, it actually helps being able to throw it sideways without too many problems. Tap on the wall. Don't go out too far. And over a flag. And I've got the line up here. There's no way they're going to catch me. Through the line. Through the line. First place. Jobs are good. Let's see how long it takes them to catch up with me. There you go. Three minutes fifty-six. I've got three minutes thirty-four. Okay, so that is twenty-two seconds difference between first place and second place. Which, on one of his championships, is that's just that's mad. That's crazy. You don't normally get that stuff. But I'll make a van out of you. Completed. Bing, 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 I've got my stars there, and this gets me the modern race suit in grey, which I'm sort of finding it difficult to get enthusiastic about, but it is seasonal completion, so it all counts. And that's that, guys, a pretty straightforward championship and a pretty fun vehicle. So until next time, thank you for watching, take it easy, and happy driving.